Mindless Can, the podcast, with radio personality Jane Lindley Thomas and psychologist Paul Bushel. Because every act of kindness, no matter how big or small, can change lives. In this series, Jane and Paul hope to enrich your life by giving you practical tools on how to be kinder in your relationships with yourself, with those around you, at home, work, and in your community. Welcome everyone to the Kindness Can Live podcast. It's so wonderful to invite two wonderful entrepreneurs, KZN entrepreneurs, Brandon and Cameron from our local market. Hi guys, welcome. Hi, love it. Thank you so much for having us. Um, this is amazing to be on Kindness Can. So yeah, we look forward to it. Well, I must say that um, I came into contact with Brandon and Cam. It was probably, I don't know, a week ago, but it feels like I've known you guys forever and a day. And I actually got a phone call from the receptionist at East Coast Radio to say, how's it, Janie? So two very good looking boys arrived with a box for you. And I thought, my goodness. (laughs) And so funny that everyone that comes into contact with you describes you in the same way, these two good looking boys. But what really stood out for me over and above the contents of this beautiful box of local product was the heart behind it. Um, I'm really blown away at your story and how during a time like COVID-19, instead of just sitting back and relaxing, you've got this hunger to love and support people. So before we go any further, won't you introduce yourselves and tell us how this all began? So uh, yeah, my name is Cameron. I normally do videography, photography, drone flying. I make a lot of content for getaway travel stuff. Never did I think I'd be in the e-commerce uh, <laughs> industry yeah so it's kind of taken us out of the blue really yeah well, um so i'm brandon i've been stuck home since lockdown when i'm actually a tour guide and i work in europe and i came home to go to my brother's wedding and then lockdown happened so i've just been rolling with the punches and coming home has been such a a new awakening for me because I got to see all these you know, local businesses, local products and, and seeing them in a time of complete foobar in a way, complete chaos was just a, was a, was a really cool thing for me to be able to, to connect with these people and to, to, it's almost like a welcoming home and getting to know uh, my community in a, in a better way. So I think that's, that's the, the huge thing for me. So That's how this all started. For someone that doesn't know what our local market is, I mean, explain the concept of it. Okay. Our local market is a, it's a platform for people to get their businesses online. And the main focus for us is that this local community is, has so many amazing products and amazing entrepreneurs. It's just getting into that kind of movement and getting into putting yourself online and getting yourself out out there is quite difficult. So what we decided to do was to bring everyone together so that collectively we can market everyone. That's basically what we are. We're bringing people together so that we create a a togetherness marketing campaign, if that makes any sense. hundred percent. Yeah. So, I mean, I know that it started uh, from the get go as kind of looking like, uh, looking at a model, like uh, a crafter's market, for example. So if we think of the artist or if we think of the artisanal bread maker, that was kind of where, where the idea began, right? Yeah, pretty much. So I think the roots of it, we wanted to basically get vendors from a market, put that market online. So yeah, like uh, Brandon said, people can just search their local goods, support local, sell to local and buy local. Just to add on that, Cam, we have a lot of friends that, that trade at the Shongweni farmer's market. And during lockdown, that was a huge, it was a huge crash for them. A lot of people couldn't, you know, they, they weren't trading and they were losing a lot of business because of that. So something like our local market, we just thought of it. We thought, what can we do to help these people? That was the start of everything. That's how we, we began, you know. And Paulie, aren't you blown away by this earnest intention of, uh, you know, people saying, there's a problem here. How can we get involved? Well, I think that that's, this is one of those lockdown stories of we faced by a challenge and let's make a plan. And I, I think as human beings, that ingenious of being pushed by problems into wonderful spaces. And that's what I'm hearing as you guys are talking. Here we are. We're in a tough situation. We can't do our usual jobs. Uh, we're seeing other people in a tough situation who can't do their jobs. And let's make a plan. But behind that plan is not only 
the practical parts of it. It's the kindness as well, which I think is just so inspiring. Tell us some of the reactions of some of the vendors as you started pitching the idea to them and getting them on board. So it's been such a journey. Every, everyone we meet, they're just so, everyone's so kind and everyone's so giving. And I think because how we started this off was we started by asking vendors to just blindly give us some of their products to then get the word out. And just by that, that start, by just by people giving us something, that little gift has, has taken us so far. And that's, that's a huge thing for us. Mm. Meeting all these people, it's just, it's the most overwhelming thing because everyone's just so willing to give first. And I think that's, that's a huge part of our business is that, you know, if we give first, something will happen. Yeah, it's really nice to see people are just so keen to support. I mean, we reached out to a few people and everyone was just so keen to give something and, uh, you know, just, uh, just help. That's been the, the nicest thing because we didn't expect that. We were just going in a bit blind and uh, hoping for the best and, yeah, something great's come out of it, eh? And yeah. it's really, that's probably the best thing is just meeting the locals and everyone just wants to have a chat and tell you their story, find out your story. It's a real human-centric vibe and uh, yeah, we're loving it, eh? So if we think about where you started to where you are now, I mean, you guys have just launched your e-commerce site, right? Mm, yes. Like fresh, like a newborn baby into the womb. <laughs> we're pushing the red button now. <laughs> <laughs> so for someone that, for example, is listening and they think, well, I make beautiful handmade soap. How would someone get involved in a conversation? Talk to us about the concept, what that means for the person that is the artist. Number one, I think, is to just get a hold of us. And the easiest way to do that is to go onto our website, which is ourlocalmarket.net. There's a become a vendor button that sends us a direct email. Then we will respond by, we just ask for a few more details. We ask for their photographs of their products. And then we just ask for a basic description of their products. And then we will start uploading them onto our website. For us, it's the more the merrier because the way our site will work is the more vendors come on, the more traffic we'll get to our website. And yeah, so it, that's, that's the basic thing is to just um, get a hold of us and then we'll, we'll take you through the rest. We'll hold your hand through the whole process. What I loved about this as well when chatting to you, because we've spent a lot of time chatting, I feel like I know you guys really well, <laughs> is that this is not a money-driven exercise for you guys. No. And I think that that's also so special that you haven't gone in there thinking, okay, so people are in a predicament. How can we alleviate some of the problem but line our pockets? I mean, the kind of remuneration offset or spin-off for you guys is so not in firm focus for you guys. And that's why I believe, and I've said this to you before, Brandon, that when you step into serving, um, greater purpose. There is a currency yeah. that yeah. comes with that is called like almost like a kind currency, almost, yeah. almost like a karmatic cycle <laughs> or something like that, that the more you give, the more you get kind of approach. But I just love that this is done with such good intention. Well, thank you. Yeah, I think the our major focus is getting people to a bigger audience. That's our focus. So everything else that comes from that is it's bonus for us, you know, and, and um, the, more, the more people we can help, I know that the business will grow. That's, you know, that's how we see it. What, what I think I, as I'm listening to the business model and how you guys are describing it, I love the fact that trust is such a big part of the whole story, that people trust you with their products. They were sending you stuff, gifting you stuff, just taking a chance with you. And you were, you were trusting in a process as well that people were going to, to come and look and visit and it was going to work. And I think in times of fear, like 2020 has been full of, mm. it's easy to become mistrustful or suspicious or pull away. But I, I love the fact that trust is such a beautiful ingredient in the story that people just had to lean in yeah. and take a chance. It's been coming at us from so many different angles as well. So it's... It's been, it's been overwhelming for us. We didn't think we would get the response that we have um, so far. So, and it just keeps every day we're getting more and more emails, which is incredible. Yeah, the support's been unbelievable. Hey? It's been absolutely mm. incredible. And I our vendors want other things as well. Everyone wants a piece of everyone's, everyone's thing. So if, if the worst case scenario, we have 100 vendors on, we've got 100 customers, you know? Mm. But I was going to say, I don't think that uh, someone's going overseas anytime soon, Brandon. Hint, hint. I, think 
I think you may be staying at us longer than you think. So what, yeah. what's, the, what's the big plan? If I had to say to you guys, uh, the sky's the limit. Where's the plan going? Where are we going? So we're going to load more and more products online. Um, as soon as that goes, we're going to just really ramp up our marketing and we're going to get the, a name out. We're really going to get our name out there. And then once it's out there, it's, it's basically on us. So many people have trusted us with their products already. It's now time for us to, to get things in gear, pack boxes, and then yeah. deliver. So every box will be delivered by us to start off with with a big smile. And in the van. Yeah. So we, we need to now earn that trust. Mm -hmm. So it's basically it's up, for, it's up to us to get in our van and start delivering products to people. Now, obviously, looking at your name, our local market, I mean, that obviously pertains to stuff that is, what are we talking? We're not just talking KZN. We're not just talking South Africa. What do we, I mean, where, where is the kind of limitation as far as what products will and won't appear on our local market? So the products to start off with are going to be mainly based around people's side hustles and, and little entrepreneurship vendors that they've taken during COVID or anyone that's existing that's, that's got their products. And number one, it's, it's going to be South African made. And number two, it's going to be um, you know, very, very local. So to this area where we're talking the upper highway down throughout Durban, and then we'll, I think we'll, we'll organically grow to bigger and better uh, marketplaces. So pretty much start small and try and uh, work in those areas at 100% of our capacity and slowly branch out, make the name bigger, make the family bigger, and yeah, just slowly get to know the locals and the locals to get to know us. Yeah. I suppose that a tricky thing, and everyone's talking about sort of the social media, social dilemma documentary yeah. that's doing the rounds at the moment. I suppose the, the, yeah. the real challenge at the moment, I suppose, for e-commerce and a platform like yours is holding on to that authenticity and that sincerity that I think beams through in this interview. And, and when we, when, you know, going onto the platform, you can see it there so clearly. So it must be such an exciting moment that you can, I suppose, go into that space, but take lessons from where other people might have gone wrong. And it kind of loses that community feel or that sincere edge. I, I always say the dream for any parent must be that their child goes into the world and makes something big, but it also makes the world a better place in some way. And so it feels like you guys are onto it. But I suppose the a moment of reflection is trying to work out how do we hold on to that? Yeah, I think if our focus if it remains to, to uplift small business and to uplift our vendors, then that's our, that becomes our focus so that we're not, we're not out there to make money. We're not out there to be seen as many times as possible. We're not out there for clickbait. We're not out there you know, to try and get people's attention on our website. If anything, we're trying to get vendors more away from that so that they can focus on their products. And then we will deal with that. So we're on, we're on the website. We're, we're out there getting the name out so that vendors can not have to worry about that. They don't have to build their own websites. They don't have to do their own marketing. We're there for them. So we'll, we'll take that. And if that's our purpose, I think then we're, we're in the right direction at least. Oh, my gosh. I'm not even your mother, either of you. <laughs> <laughs> my heart could literally burst out of my chest cavity. <laughs> Is, oh one of your, my is, gosh. One, is one of your moms here? Yes. So Carol, they wanted to just put the thumbs up. Carol Howard. That's my Hello, Let's Carol. Carol. Let's chat to Carol. Where's Carol? <laughs> Carol, <laughs> Carol, if you want to turn on your mic and tell us how proud you are of your boys. Oh, I tell you, it's, it's the most incredible, incredible thing. He's always been very, um, very independent and very much an entrepreneurial, spirited person. He's always seen opportunities. And so for me, it's just, I'm not surprised, to be honest. Um, <laughs> amazing having him home. I can't tell you, it's just been so awesome. He's gone for six years. So having him home and seeing him, you know, this is not the only thing. He's also looking at a hydroponics. And yeah, no, it's just, he's been amazing. <laughs> Do you have a can you give us an early uh, memory of Brandon with his entrepreneurial spirit? I mean, was he the guy that was out on a Saturday making homemade lemonade and selling it at the gate? And was he? Was he that guy? <laughs> I don't think I can tell you what it was. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. No. You have to tell us now. You have to tell us. <laughs> 
you were selling cell phone air time. <laughs> Better than fraudulent licenses. I don't know where you were going. <laughs> well, I was going to deep and dark hole. Um. <laughs> No, but it's been so um, wonderful having you with us, Mom. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm just feeling so proud to know that there are people in our community that are looking out for others. Um, you know, we always say that uh, being kind isn't easy because if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. I mean, it's mm -hmm. so cool that in a time of real need, these boys have put up our hands. And I just, I just know, like I know, you know, when you just know, um, this yeah. is going to be something that you guys are going to look back in a couple of years' time and be like, geez, look how far oh, we've come. A word of advice. Um, just to take stock of each moment as it comes. Because when you're on a mission to try and push as hard as you can to get to the end result, you sometimes miss some really beautiful fruit-bearing moments. So as you push to strive, just be a part of the process. And I know that you will be consciously just involved in everything that happens going forward. Having a look at some of the comments that are coming through here from Priya. How's it, Priya? On their website now, and I'm thrilled to see it. Wish these genuine souls all the best in this adventure. Andrea also said, I'm also having a look, uh, lovely colors and vibe. Michelle says, such a great concept. Um, and the messages just go on and on. Any closing marks uh, from you boys? I think to the people who made the comments, everyone who tuned in today, lots of love to the locals. Eh? Thank you for the support and come to our local market family. Eh? We're on a journey. Yeah, it's been come fun. With well, I, I, <laughs> yeah, thanks so much to both of you for joining us, but for inspiring us today. I'm left with this feeling of that as a community, as a country, we really know when we put our minds to it, we can pull out all the stops and the sky is the limit for us. So thank you for being a reminder and an inspiration of that for our community and, and watch us all go. And we can't wait to come and shop on your site. Well, thank you as so much. Before you, you go, give us your email address and your Instagram. Where can people get involved, find out more? Okay, so firstly, our website is ourlocalmarket.net. Our email is info.ourlocalmarket at gmail.com. And then our Instagram is at ourlocalmarket. Fantastic. Oh, guys, we love Following you so you much. Now. Keep going, keep going, yeah. keep pushing. And yeah, well, you make us very proud. Thank and you so to, much. Anne. Yeah, thanks to everyone who joined in today. Lots of love, everybody. You've been listening to Kindness Can, the podcast. Find out more at kindnesscan.co.za.